Hi guys Sportsia News Briefs. Messi sparks more interest in New York with MLS debut than the NFL. Djokovic meets Messi at a New York restaurant. Cristiano Ronaldo scores hat-trick in Al Nasser's first win of the season. Den Bosch sign Man City defender Luke Mbeat. Bukayo Saka breaks 26-year Premier League appearance record for Arsenal. Aston Villa midfielder Coutinho agrees terms with Qatar's Al Duhail. Now the news in detail. Messi sparks more interest in New York with MLS debut than the NFL. The furore that the arrival of world champion Lionel Messi to Major League Soccer, MLS, in the United States has aroused has been of great impact due to his high level and reputation as the best player in the world, and his influence is reflected in sporting and commercial terms, so that the figure of the Argentine star has been increasingly valued more with the passage of time, but especially with the results that have been given. The Messamania has grown mainly because of the great results that have been achieved since his arrival, with the discrepancy being that Inter Miami is a team that is in last place in the local tournament, but managed to take the title of champion of the League's Cup 2023 between MLS and Liga MX clubs. The second most expensive match for a ticket was a friendly with Barcelona in July 2022, when a ticket cost about US$270. But now for the clash against the New York Red Bulls, Messi's appearance is, the most expensive ticket for the Red Bulls in more than a decade, a Vivid Seeds spokesman told CNN. Prices for MLS games in which Messi plays have skyrocketed since the 36-year-old entered the US competition. And Messi is increasing the profitability of all the businesses around him. The Messamania has hit hard in the pocket of the inhabitants of the Big Apple. Mainly because the Argentine is making his major league soccer, MLS, debut for Inter Miami at the Red Bull Arena in New Jersey, which is 30 minutes from Manhattan, and the price of tickets to see him play has skyrocketed by up to 1,000%. Tickets to watch Messi's debut are priced at an average of $500, which is in stark contrast to the average price of a New York Red Bulls ticket for a normal game at $46. A spokesperson for Vivid Seats, the ticketing company, noted that, this is considered the most expensive Red Bulls ticket in over a decade. The irony of the case is that Inter Miami has not announced whether Messi will play on Saturday. Messi's MLS debut ticket with Inter Miami and the New York Red Bulls is more in demand than the average for any NFL team last season, based on average price, the company noted. Front row tickets are still available for $3,600, but they are purchased in four seat packs, so the cost to see the best player in the world, for many, is $15,000. Messamania is also reflected in corporate sponsors. Apple said subscriptions to its football streaming package have soared since Messi joined in July. And brand Adidas said in a statement that demand for T-shirts with the Argentine star's picture on them is, truly unprecedented. Orders are on back order until October. Djokovic meets Messi at a New York restaurant. Novak Djokovic met Lionel Messi in New York City as the Argentinian continues to acclimatize to life in the United States. Messi joined Inter Miami in July and has already begun to prove his soccer quality by leading his new club to the League's Cup trophy. La Pulga completed his career in December when he finally won the FIFA World Cup after an incredible performance throughout the tournament and has been riding on cloud nine ever since. The latest landmark moment is that he got to meet Novak Djokovic in NYC. Messi is said to be a big fan of tennis and the chance to meet a 23-time Grand Slam winner is something he no doubt relished. Dot. Cristiano Ronaldo scores hat-trick in Al Nasser's first win of the season. Al Nasser claimed their first three points of the 2023 Saudi Pro League season after finally picking up their first win on match day three. Luis Castro's side dominated the game throughout, keeping possession and creating more chances. Al Nasser's players were clearly superior throughout the match. Otavio and Americ Laporte, despite their recent arrival in the team, joined Cristiano Ronaldo and Sadio Mane in the starting lineup. 
Anderson Talisca and Seiko Fofana have not yet been called up. Cristiano Ronaldo has been looking for goal at all times since the start of the first half. With a clear superiority at all times of Al Nasser, Otavio and Cristiano created many dangerous chances, but could not find the goal. Den Bosch signed Man City defender Luke Mbeat. Den Bosch have signed Manchester City defender Luke Mbeat. Mbeat moves to Den Bosch on loan for the season. The 19-year-old was on loan at Huddersfield Town and Bolton Wanderers last season. Now Manchester City announces on its official website that the centre-back is loaned out again. The England U21 international will represent Den Bosch in the East DVC for the remainder of the season. Bukayo Saka breaks 26-year Premier League appearance record for Arsenal. Bukayo Saka's exemplary professionalism has underpinned his undroppable status for Arsenal. The wildest lifestyle choice for a straighter student at school is his penchant for a pre-match chocolate bar. Twix is Saka's go-to option. By starting Arsenal's home meeting with Fulham on Saturday afternoon, Saka set a club record of 83 consecutive Premier League appearances. Paul Merson, the individual who had previously held the honour, enjoyed a rather different approach to professional football. Aston Villa midfielder Coutinho agrees terms with Qatar's Al Duhail. Aston Villa midfielder Philippe Coutinho has agreed personal terms with Qatar's Al Duhail. Coutinho, 31, left Barcelona for Villa in January 2022, initially on loan. The attacking midfielder has scored six goals and provided three assists in a total of 43 competitive games for Villa. However, Coutinho has lost his starting place since Unai Emery took over as manager. It has long been reported that the Brazilian is on his way out. Now transfer expert Fabrizio Romano reports that Coutinho has reached an agreement with Al Duhail on the personal terms. However, the Qatari club has not yet reached agreement with Aston Villa. The negotiations are expected to step up shortly. For more sports news please visit our Twitter handle or YouTube channel Sportsia.